welcome back to my channel. So today's video is another week of what's for dinner. I can't believe I've been keeping up with this so well. Um, this week I did four different recipes. You're only going to see three in this video though, because one will be a separate video coming out this week. I don't know if I'm doing it Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday, because I have the option to upload at any point. So whenever I get that edited down and um, everything, I will be uploading that. So you will see that one at some point this week. Um, but the other three recipes are all, well, all four of them are brand new to this channel. <laughs> okay, so like I was saying, um, all four recipes are brand new to this channel. And yeah, two crock pot recipes. I did some ribs in the oven. I mean, this was a good week, honestly. It was a really, really good week. Oh, yeah? That's how you feel? Was the food good this week? Yeah? Okay. Well, before she gets too too upset. Um, before we get into this video, make sure you guys give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. So let's see what we had for dinner this week. Hello, everybody. I don't know what day it is today. Um, just being honest, I'm like kind of behind on what's for dinner, so... Um, it's a day. So <laughs> tonight for dinner, I am making some ribs. We have not had ribs in a hot minute. It's Tuesday. Tuesday? Okay, well, apparently it's Tuesday. But I got these for like a really, really good price. So we got ribs. Amen. Um, these are all the seasonings that I'm going to use. Y'all just, you know, you know, I just kind of throw stuff together. And um, yeah, that's how that's going to go. I also have this. This is broccoli casserole. This is broccoli casserole that was wrapped up and frozen um, from, when did I make broccoli casserole? Christmas? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I may have a video on that. I may not. If I do have it, I will link it. If I don't, I'll probably find like a Pinterest copycat recipe and post that for you guys in the description box. And then I'm also just making some macaroni salad. I wish we had cornbread. I didn't realize that we didn't have cornbread mix. Um, and I didn't know I would want cornbread until like today. Like literally right now. <laughs> but it is what it is. We're just gonna kind of throw this together and show you how it goes. So this is everything done. I had to separate the ribs into two different trays because the one tray was not big enough for the whole thing. I did not realize that it was as big um, when it was in the pack because they had it actually rolled and there was ribs folded under. So it was longer than, you know. I mean, it was a great deal, so I'm not mad. <laughs> and then the broccoli casserole and macaroni salad. So yeah, this is dinner for, what's today? Tuesday. Tuesday. This is dinner for Tuesday. And including the bop. 
Hi, baby. Oh, her sweater's covering her face. Hi, baby. She's so unimpressed. And the Zara bump. <laughs> hey, y'all. It's Wednesday, and tonight for dinner, we're going to be doing some chicken pot pie in the crock pot. Um, but instead of a crust, we're doing biscuits during the great biscuit shortage. I had to literally like search the world for some biscuits because I was not giving up on this recipe. I really, really wanted it. Um, so I literally paid double the price I would on a normal day and got biscuits. Um, but yeah, so basically for this, I just have some shredded chicken. Um, this calls for two cans of cream of chicken soup, so I just got the family size to save myself on time. Need some heavy whipping cream, mixed vegetables, potatoes, and carrots and celery. You also need onion, but I'm out, so I'm just going to live with this. We're fine with it. And yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and chop all this up and then combine the rest of this in the crock pot. Obviously not the biscuits because you got to bake them up separately. And I will show you guys how it goes. All right, so I have my veggies chopped up. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw everything into the crock pot. All right, so this is everything mixed together. It wasn't enough mixed vegetables for my liking, so when this is done cooking up before I serve it, I'm just gonna stir in a can of peas because um, I don't want them to get too mushy, so I don't wanna put them in right now. Um, but you just put this in your crock pot on low for about five hours, but I'm gonna be doing it on high for two and a half because I'm pressed for time. Yeah, so here we go. everybody and this is what plates look like so we have Zuri's plate my plate and Gio's plate very simple um, you could also put these in bowls but I really didn't feel like finding the bowls because they had cereal this morning and the dish rack is full and I'm not digging through that so <laughs> there's that um, but yeah very easy and delicious this is dinner for what is today Wednesday this is dinner for Wednesday <laughs> So on Thursday, I did another crock pot recipe. This is called beefy potato taco casserole. I did not do the tutorial in this video because that will be part of a separate collab coming out this week. So make sure you guys are looking out for that. But this was dinner for Thursday. Hey everybody, it is Friday and tonight for dinner we're going to be doing calzones, except for Zuri, she's gonna have a pizza because I honestly don't think she would eat it as a calzone. Um, so I do have two pizza doughs, thank God I did get two, because I did rethink that and I was like, eh, she's probably not going to eat it because it's rolled up, she's funny about stuff. Um, I have some pasta sauce, which is the same thing as pizza sauce, um, some mozzarella that I have to shred up, some ricotta cheese, and some pepperonis. So I'm going to go ahead and get this put together. I have literally never made a calzone. I've eaten them a million times, but I saw Taylor Elmore do it on her channel. And I was like, you know what? I want to try one too, because I love calzones. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully this isn't a total fail, but we're going to go ahead and get this put together.
All right, everybody, so this is how the calzones turned out. They look a lot better than I thought they would. I'm proud of myself. And yeah, I hope they taste just as good. And here is Zuri's pizza. She has half pepperoni, half cheese, because she could never make up her mind what it is that she wants on her pizza, so I did both. This looks good, though. I think I'm definitely gonna buy this pizza dough again and make some pizzas, but yeah. All right, everybody, so I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you did, again, please give me a big thumbs up, and we will see you guys in next week's What's for Dinner. Bye, everybody.